Welcome back my friends. Now let's look at the solution to question 9b part 2. Now here they have given us a statement. They have said the function p is equal to 4x plus 3y satisfies the solution set represented by the closed triangular region. And if you notice we have the, the shaded region it's in the shape of a triangle okay with each with three corners all right three vertices. Now here in part 2 they're asking us to identify the three pairs of x y values for which p has a maximum or minimum value and that's another easy three marks now basically what they're asking us to do here is to uh, state the three vertices of the shaded region or the three vertices of the triangle so this is one vertex this is another vertex okay and this is the final vertex now if you notice it's these three corners that bounds the shaded region okay so all we're simply going to do is to just write down the coordinates the x and y values for those points all right so basically we could call this point for example for example M N and Q okay just to give them some names all right this is part 2 so let me make a note of that this is 9 B part 2 so here the first vertices let me just make a note the vertices M M would basically be for example if you notice guys initially they gave us this line and the line is really x equals 6 and in the previous video uh, we looked at the scaling how we got this line to be x equals 6 now now if this line is x equals 6 okay then basically if I if I want the value if I want the y value then I would have to come here for m and then I'm going to go across but next I have to check the scale on my y axis now if you notice also as in my x axis my y axis is I'm going up Two centimeters to 10 units so for example this would be one centimeter this would be two centimeters there I have a 10 then I have another two centimeters now then I would have a 20 so obviously I'm going up for example each of these little graduations that that is in between 30 and 40 40 I would be just simply increasing by one so basically I am going to count to this point here if we should zoom in I'm just simply from 30 here I'm going to count one two three four so obviously where this line here 34 on my y-axis would intersect so that would be the y value at the point m okay so my x value would be 6 because if you notice it's line on the line x is equal to 6 when my y value would be 34 so let's just quickly make a note of that so for the point m my x value is 6 and my y value is 34 so that's one coordinate x and y value so let's just quickly look at the, the next one uh, let's take the point n okay so my n value um, let me just change the color quickly so my n coordinate in this case would be and if you notice this is pretty easy I am on 30 if you notice from the point n if I should come straight down on my x-axis that would be the point 30 so my n my x value for n would be 30 and I am going straight across from the point n I'm going straight across on my y axis and this point here would be 10 okay so my y value for n would be 10 okay so there we go my friends now we need to find the next coordinate so let's take our coordinate q down here the, the final vertex the final vertex okay so the point q I need to find my x value if you notice this is the line x equal 6 so since it's line on that line then my x value obviously would be 6 and my y value now if you notice we have already stated the scale that we each of these little graduations were increasing by 2 so here this would be 1 2 if you notice this passes through 2 this point here would pass through 2 the the, the the value 2 on the y axis would pass through this point rather okay so my y value would be 2 there all right so basically there we have identified as they have asked us in part 2 we have identified the three pairs of x and y values for which p has a maximum or minimum value now basically what do they mean by the maximum or minimum value the maximum value basically what they're saying um, based on the 
equation that they gave us here in this statement p is equal to 4x plus 3y now for each pair the pair of x and y value when I substitute it in this formula that gives me the highest value that would be regarded as my maximum value now the pair of x and y values that I'm that I'm that I substitute in the same formula that gives me the lowest value that would be my minimum value that is just simply what they are saying here so now in part three they're asking us now straight up they're asking us which pair of x x y values makes p a maximum okay and we are supposed to justify our answer and that's another four marks now the pair of y x and y value that would give us the maximum value first we would have to look at these would have by comparison we'd have to look at the pair for m n and q now if you look at q obviously my friends um if i should substitute q the va the pair of x and y values for q in in the in the in the equation that they gave us p is equal to six and this is part three i'm working let me just make a quick note if i should substitute that in p is equal to four x plus three y then obviously this value would give us the lowest because if you notice the x by comparison when you compare all three points um, this is the lowest x and the lowest y value okay so because because that is the situation we have then um, we can just ignore that since it's the maximum we're, we're trying to find and let's just focus on which one of these values whether the m coordinate or the n coordinate would give us the highest so first I'm going to work with my m coordinate okay so let me just say p of m okay let me just say p let me use another color maybe that's a bit hard on the eyes let me just change my color quickly let me just say p of m okay since i'm working out my m coordinate is equal to and i'm just going to substitute it in this my x value would be six here okay so i have a six four times six plus three times my my y value which is 34 okay so this would be equal to four sixes that would give us a 24 plus three times 34 would give us a 102 now this would be equal to 24 plus 102 that would give us a 126 so uh, the pair of values for m would give us a total of 126 now let's just quickly check check uh the pair of values for n to see if we would get a higher value okay so let's now check the p of n okay my friends and p of n really is equal to and i'll just substitute it back in the original that they gave us so i'll say four but in this case my x value would be 30 four times 30 and i'm adding to that three times my y value which is three times ten okay so basically we know that four times thirty this would give us a 120 okay plus three tens that is a 30 so this would yield us a 150 or this would give us 150 so obviously by comparison uh, this would be our answer uh, p of n so basically what we're saying here is that the pair of x and y value um, the point n 30 10 would yield us the highest profit value for p okay now there it is my friends since they have asked us to justify our answer here we have made our statement here in orange the point 30 10 gives the highest value in the function p is equal to 4x plus 3y and that's basically it hope that was helpful um, in assisting you with your exam preparations okay bye bye